Yo, what's up guys, in today's video man, I'm gonna be telling you guys how to connect the strike pack POW! How to be connecting the strike pack dominator or eliminator, which one ever, which, I can't speak English, whichever one you want, because I had both of them, I used it the same way, you feel me? To your PC or your laptop, I'm not gonna be showing like, opening up the SAP toolkit, because bro, it's not that hard, and I've showed you guys in my other videos, like, go check those ones. I'm just gonna be telling you guys the problems, because a lot of you guys face errors, it's not using the app that's the problem, it's getting to the point where you can use the app. For some of you guys, the installation process, you don't do it properly, even if I show you. I made a one hour video with a YouTuber, you can go check it with him and his friend, like the bro had the problems that you guys have, most of the problems that you guys have, and we fixed it, and then at the end of the day we fixed everything properly, it took like an hour, but his PC like had a specific problem, because I think it was too old or it was too new or something, there was something like that, so, but we fixed it though, the SAP 2K was working properly, it's just his PC had a problem, so, yeah. You guys need to listen. So yeah. Oh, so first of all, the installation part. If the installation part doesn't work properly, if you get the error while installing the SCP Toolkit app itself, there's obviously gonna be problems. Like when you're trying to install the Strike Pack and you get the errors on the side of your screen, obviously you're gonna get errors because the installation wasn't done properly. And you know, for others, it gives you the option to download, you know, the Visual C++. You need to download that. I don't, I still don't know why SAP Toolkit needs it. It's just a thing for the controller, but it needs you to have specific uh, Visual C++ drivers or like not specific, to have everything. And some of you guys say you downloaded. Did you really download it? Because some, like I have like 8, 9 or 10 or something like that. Some of you have just like 3, you know, like 2018, 2019. Uh, then some 64-bit. Uh, that 64 and 882 bit or is it 32 something, something like that you feel me you guys don't have everything like if you have three and you expect it to work properly no you have to download the whole thing yeah and in that one hour video I'm gonna put it right here I hope he, the guy to the youtuber and his friend to do it as well so apart from that the other problem could be just updating the strike pack you know when you install the SCP toolkit it comes with three stuff the installer the updater and the manager or something like that i don't know i don't know what the other one is called my pc is not open i can't just look but anyway just update it the way you're gonna update it is you unplug it from your controller and you just plug it in you press the update it updates properly and if you have a problem with the touchpad i made a video here's the video right here it's going viral go watch it be part of that people that's making it go viral you feel me because when you uh, initially when you switch the SCP the strike pack from what am i saying <laughs> when you connect the strike pack for the first time like when you're using it it's gonna switch the touchpad and the share button is gonna switch it so in that video i showed you how to reverse it back you know you know me you know me you know me and the other the other stuff is your pc maybe your pc is too outdated or it's not compatible most pcs should be compatible but for some reasons some people's one aren't compatible you know me and yeah some of you guys the other problems you guys had was you just didn't connect it properly some of you guys don't use the cable that actually came with the strike pack that's the best one that's like mm. if you're using other cables and you say it disconnects sometimes and it reconnects sometimes that's because the cable is not strong, the, the, the connection of the cable is not strong if you're using the alternate cable. So just use the one that came with the strike pack, you feel me? You feel me? And the other stuff was not even the disconnecting, was the fact that it was blinking and you guys said it's gonna stop working for you guys. I made a video on that too. I used to have it, it still happens sometimes, but for me, even if it blinks like... Oh, my strike pack. Okay. Even if it blinks blue and off blue, like on and off blue, then nothing blue and nothing, it still works to me. Some of you guys said when it does that, it like stops working for you guys. I made a video about that as well. I think there was five steps in that video, like five options to do and it worked. So like guys, just follow the instructions properly and it should work for you guys, man. You know what I'm saying? Like bro, I've done everything. That's why I can install it. I can uninstall it. I can do everything. I turned it on by accident. I can do all the stuff and it works for me because I have all the Visual C++ drivers, I updated it, I did all the proper steps that I show you guys, there's no reason for me to hide anything, I show you guys all the steps and it works properly for me, so tell me if you have a problem in the comment section as well, 
like because i know you guys get a lot of errors then you join my discord and you ask me and uh, uh, but this is the best way i can help all of you guys at the same time because you guys ask me like a lot i was gonna do a screen share like with a, a group screen share but bro i ain't got time for that because i'm in university you feel me like the video subscribe share peace out